My name is Dr. Sandeep Satsangi and I'm the lead hepatologist and transplant hepatologist of Manipal Hospitals, Bangalore. Today, I'm going to talk in brief about a condition called as cirrhosis. So cirrhosis basically means scarring of the liver. Usually, cirrhosis is the end result of hepatitis. That means swelling of the liver. The causes of which can be excessive consumption of alcohol. These days, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is a very very common cause of hepatitis leading on to cirrhosis. Autoimmune liver conditions, metabolic liver conditions are lot of causes wherein liver can lead into a condition called as cirrhosis. Once you go on to develop cirrhosis, cirrhosis has two, two subsequent stages. The first stage is called as compensated cirrhosis wherein the liver, the morphology appears hard and but however the functions of the liver is quite good the other stage however is called as decompensated cirrhosis here the liver is unable to perform its metabolic functions so in decompensated cirrhosis you have certain symptoms which come up that is ascites that is building up a fluid in the belly you have fluid accumulation in the rest of the body as well like pedal edema that is swelling of the feet your white of the eyes start turning yellow that is called as jaundice person can start having blood vomiting or the motions can start turning black in color. Then you have something called as hepatic encephalopathy wherein the person starts losing consciousness. These are all the myriad of symptoms which can happen when you have in the advanced stage of cirrhosis called as decompensated cirrhosis. Whenever your hepatologist diagnoses cirrhosis, whether it is compensated or decompensated, the first thing he's going to do is identify the root cause of cirrhosis. That is the first thing which has to be done of targeting the root cause of cirrhosis. Then subsequently, there are a lot of medications which actually help augment or improve the liver functions. At every stage of liver decompensations, there are treatments available which can improve the patients. However, if the decompensations are way too advanced, the only thing which can help the patient is a timely liver transplant. Thank you.